welcome to episode number 87 of the reseller stew i know it's been about two months it seems like every time we come on i'm always saying that like oh it's been like a month it's been like two months it's been like 80 months but um we didn't disappear we're still here we're still friends <laughs> <laughs> but uh how's everybody doing it's been like all of spring has passed no all this all of the winter has passed now we're into spring now is right? it spring i'm ready for those garage sales it is spring, it is spring. <laughs> our garage sales never end here like there's garage sales all there i've never seen i've never seen a week that there wasn't like signs for garage sales right like, i mean we have them year round here in texas but i guess i'm what I'm trying to say is they're going to be more plentiful. <laughs> There'll be more of them. We can spend all morning garage selling. Not me, but you would go for it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Although one of the things that I have to show, like that I sold came from a garage sale that I went to. It was like a church sale. And I got there like right as it was closing. Yeah, so, was but it was one. like months back. Yeah. How you doing, Miss Lucy? Um, well, good and bad. I mean, Everything's everything else in my life is going good. Taxes are done and all that good stuff, and business is picking up. But I broke my foot, so that part. <gasps> oh of that. no! Yeah, yeah. broke fractured. all her feeties. Yeah, so they have me in a like a scooter, which is fun. Um, it doesn't go over bumps well though. Is that one of those? How did it you put your knee on? Yeah, you put your knee on it. Uh, I was so. Uh, Long story short, back in February when we had snow here, I took the kids sledding and I was coming down really fast and I used my foot to stop against a pole and I broke like the middle part of the bone. Oh gosh. I fractured it. And then I walked around for a month until I went into the doctor and then they x-rayed it and they said, oh no, it's just a bruise. Don't worry about it. You know, you'll be fine in a couple of weeks. And then I went back a couple of weeks later and my doctor's like, no, it's fractured. You need to get off of it like now. So here we are. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. But other than that, so I've been wheeling around in my office on my chair. <laughs> working. You know, you don't you don't get medical coverage or like sick days. You got to just roll with the punches here. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, can I start off with something that I found? Yes. Because I think I paid way too much money. This is what happens when people are rushing you. Because I had already went shopping at Savers. I stopped on Saturday because I actually, okay, this is why I stopped. I stopped because the shoes that I was wearing sucked and I couldn't <laughs> possibly wear them for one more minute. And I was like, let me stop in the Savers and see if maybe they have some shoes, which they did. Some Dr. Scholl's, like little black glitter, slip on thingies that were like five bucks, perfect. But then I picked up some other fabulous things and as I was checking out, I saw these vans and my daughter was like rushing me because the lady at the register was asking her like our phone number and all this other stuff. So I didn't actually look them up, but I bought these Toy Story vans. Oh, they're cute. They're, they're so cute. cute. But they're tiny. They're only a size five. They are a women's size five. And I paid $25 for them. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Imagine. The bottom says Andy. <gasps> yeah. And they're I, basically, I saw that at first. I thought that was the Goodwill marking. They're basically like new. I mean, I can't imagine that anybody actually wore these anywhere because it doesn't even have like the, like that they went outside on the outside of them. Have you looked so up the comps? I did. And they're like 50 to a hundred dollars, but I think I spent way too much for this size. Because I couldn't even find the size when I was trying to, like, I was like, these look kind of small. Maybe they're like a seven. No, they're a five. But because the size is like way down here, like way mm -hmm. under there. And I couldn't, like, they had this stupid thing in the way. So anyway, I overspent, I think. But they're adorable. And I almost actually went really deep on these when they released on the Vans website last year. Because I was like, you know what? I have a feeling these are going to sell really well. Um, and so I almost did. And now if you look at them, the new ones in the box are like 200, 250. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But I think maybe if I hold on to them, on to them until summer, because Toy Story 4 is coming out. <laughs> yeah. Toy Story 4 is coming out on 
June 21st. So I think I'm going to hold on to them. Yeah, I probably list Adam them joking. Like I can't tell. He says uh, that would be amazing to move that, the Sharpie. What would you use? <laughs> no, this is, it was made that way. This is Andy from Toy Story. Toy Story. They're made like that. That's not coming off. I use like alcohol to get Sharpie off, but they're going for $89.95 new on eBay. Yeah, so I, I know, but I don't have a box. Really, so I don't know. I it was, I, I'm not going to lose any money. I know that. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to lose any money. So anyway, they I, just, great as thought. I just wanted to tell that story and then Doc can, we can talk about other stuff. Sometimes you find things though, and you just gotta roll with it and and learn. And you know, you just never know. You know, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? Yeah, so, it would be hard for me not to pick those up in that good a condition. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Chris is in the chat. Chris, did you see these at Savers and not <laughs> buy them because I'm the idiot that bought them? He was buying vans. I saw in his he always uh, picks up vans too yeah. that he had the villains vans and the some other Mickey Minnie Mouse vans. Did you see these? They were at your sa your savers Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> he was busy eating a taco deli. He missed I, know. I know. I thought about going to taco deli on Saturday, but we ended up going to uh, H Mart. If you watch my oh, Instagram yeah, yeah. story, we were at H Mart eating um, Korean food. Okay, so what is an H Mart? H Mart is a huge Asian market, like from Asia, and they have locations in Houston, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, I think, and Austin. Well, Cedar Park, which is Austin. Yeah. Awesome. Same thing. So, we do they just sell food, food, or they have hard goods and stuff? No, 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 no. They, yeah, they got hard goods too. They have. Uh, it's almost like it's almost like okay, IKEA with food and <laughs> produce and fish for. Asia. Is, is it kind of like an HEB's like Central Market? Mm, it's like a Whole Foods. Whole Foods, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it was awesome. We walked around there just like, wow. And their seafood selection <laughs> is top notch. You guys are so lucky in Austin. Y'all have the best stores because we don't have, have an H Mart like down here. They, they have an H Mart in Houston, they said. They do? Yeah. Well, it must be like right in the center of Houston, but I mean, down south, we don't have anything like that. I was looking up comps um, on some of this stuff because, like, they had the 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 uh, Mancha uh, Kit Kats and Strawberry Kit Kats. They have Mancha Kit Kats from yeah from Japan. Oh my and god! And so I was like looking up comps on them. People are selling individual mini Kit Kats for three ninety nine on eBay. Are you kidding me? I just How bought can I two do that packages. Without it melting. Oh, I just talked it. <laughs> Tanya can't hear. Tanya can't hear Trish. That's oh. right. Sorry, if, I if can't Tanya's see that she was talking. Sorry, if Tanya's interrupting Trish throughout the show, it's because for some <laughs> reason all of us can hear Trish except Tanya. And Tanya can hear all of us except Trish. I'm okay. So sorry, Trish. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> Tell you your hand up. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, she's so cute. I wish I could hear her. Thank you. So my husband had a business trip in Japan and he brought me back a green tea Kit Kat. And it was the best Kit Kat I've ever had in my life. So I went on Amazon and I bought packages of those Kit Kats for all of my kids and had them sent to all of the different yeah. states where they live. And they love them. I didn't buy any for myself though. Now I'm gonna have to buy some for myself and sell them individually. I How much know. were they on Amazon? Not a lot, like, I don't remember. But not well, a lot. Times, it was not a lot. $10. Maybe, maybe. They're like, three, they're like $3.99 for a package in the store, so. Yeah. I like scanning the, the that type of food for Amazon to resell. Um, yeah. Cause What'd I, she say with rules? I mean, there are certain things that you go and you taste and then you want to get. And We have a Wajamayas up here, which is amazing. What the heck is that? What's a Wajamayas? Uh, it's just a like a Japanese Asian store. They sell oh, rice like crackers. You can get all <laughs> sorts of chopsticks and tea kettles and fish and clams and they it's neat they do all the clams by like which bay it was from so you can see where your clams are coming from they've got a live fish tank any sushi you can imagine free dried shrimp uh, dragon fruit 
the meat <laughs> department the meat this is so unraceler related we've been on like talking about a supermarket for like 10 minutes <laughs> but the meat is sliced so beautifully it's insane like the pork looks like bacon slices like how they do it's just like so beautiful anyway let's get to reselling enough about grocery stores <laughs> like, um trish do you want to go first like tell us what you you went and got garage sale stuff to show us so you want to show us yeah well i mean some of it I, you might have already seen so this might be redundant but so i got this gorgeous doll okay she was beautiful so pretty i got her i paid 25 dollars for her which was like your shoes. It was too much to pay, but I couldn't pass her up. Mm. And she's a Madame Alexander, which I don't pick up dolls. Um, but this particular one was selling for about $100. So I picked it up. And then I went to take pictures of her yesterday. And her little legs are broke off. So I just Break put her... Them, or no, were they, like that? they were like that. She wasn't standing up straight, but I just thought she was not right in the doll stand. So when I took her out of the doll stand, her legs fell on the floor. <laughs> so <laughs> at least it didn't break. I know. So I ended up throwing her on auction, starting it at forty nine ninety nine, and I already have a bid because she's got all of her pieces. And there's a lot, like one sold for a hundred dollars that had the shoes, but the heels were broke off, and it still sold for a hundred dollars. And she's pretty much complete with all of her parts. So I figure somebody will pay for her. I don't think it would really matter because people just put them up in a stand and you're not going to notice like. Yeah, know. I put her for parts or repair and I didn't notice she was in a stand. Um, and then I got a, I got a lot of Beatrix Potter stuff. I love and Beatrix Potter. This is a little um, Eden Gifts. He's a bunny on a stand. I got him and I got Tom Kitten. Um, I paid. I feel, I, I feel like I need to type captions for Tanya. I so she know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> not, can she get it in an estate sale or? Let me, <laughs> I got she a got ton of them. Let me do some sign language for Tanya. That's Bunny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and I got a bunch of little tiny um, figurines. Um, 30 of them and I listed them for $400 and they've got a good oh. amount of watchers. So, um, I got, <laughs> I'm dying with how you're trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> Don't you love being live? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tanya, what? This is some kind of weird torture. <laughs> Don't you like me anymore, Tanya? She got um, a little greens for be of chick potters, and she should be able to sell the whole set of like 36 or 38. I can't remember how much 30. it was. For, like, 30. 400? Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, they go for crazy money. Like there's somebody who's selling 15 right now for 300. So I put 400. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do any more, but yeah. <laughs> have it. Have any of y'all ever bought something like on on OA online arbitrage for reselling like on Amazon or eBay where the person says it's new and you're like fingers crossed I hope it is yeah okay so I bought a cafe frappe a couple like two months ago off of Facebook Marketplace the lady sent it to me it was new and new in the box. It was used in the box. And then the other week, two weeks ago, I bought a Cafe Coco off of OfferUp. Because OfferUp does shipping now, like Mercari. And it was new in the box. Well, it's new in the box. New in the box, like that. New in the box. Everybody oh, has a different no. definition. And I'm like, people, you and your eBay new. <laughs> but yeah um that's the hard part about buying stuff off of offer up and in, in, in facebook marketplace if you don't actually see it and they're shipping it to you because their idea of new in the box is never new in the box mm -hmm. you know <laughs> so but yeah 
wants to go now, or I can keep talking. <laughs> well, I think Tanya should go. Go Tanya. Or did she? She started. No. Wait. Wait. What? You're Lucy, or do you want me to? Go ahead. Yeah, go. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I was just uh, so scatterbrained. I didn't have a lot of time to figure this out, what I was going to talk about this morning. So, um, wait, Brian says turn on closed captioning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. And then I would probably not figure out how to turn it off. It would be a big fiasco. So, never mind. Um, so, I've got these neat little masks. They're, like, made of brass. Cool. And... Uh, enamel, I guess, the front of them. I paid a dollar fifty each for them, so I paid three bucks for both of them. I'm gonna sell them as a set, and I was thinking they'd be worth more, but they're not. I looked at them worth point, and they're not really going for that much. So I'm thinking I might ask for maybe twenty five for the whole set. I don't know. I would put glow sticks in them and put them out in the yard for Halloween. Well, that's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> or I might put them on my booth. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, and then just this morning I got this, this is so bizarre. So I love gemstones, you guys, especially the jewelry. I'm really getting into that right now. But I love to collect the rocks and stuff. I have several rocks. This one's amethyst. And I got it this morning. It's got this little pig on it. What in the world? Is it a pig or a rhino? It's no, it's a, a pig. It's a really long nose. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little a little pig, pewter pig. Isn't that That's funny? Cool. Like oh, I why? I know I've picked up many rocks in my days, you guys, and I've never seen one. And then it's got this nasty ass glue all over it. See? Fake glue. They <laughs> use some cheap hot glue from the 80s. All <laughs> right. So I'm thinking, I'm wondering Maybe if I could heat smoke gun it, it off or something. Huh? Maybe you could heat gun it off? Maybe. I don't know, but he's kind of growing on me. I think he's kind of cool. <laughs> Add in white elephant gift to that. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep it. Well, because I like to take pictures of my jewelry on the rocks. I think it's really pretty, and I just love them. Can you do spider pig? Spider pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I picked up something else, which is kind of in interesting. Because okay, this was also at, at Christmas Savers. Okay, oh, it's called, I love it's those. Impossible <laughs> puzzle. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get the stupid ring light out of the way. But get out of the way. They're stupid. Okay. Yeah. It's called the Impossible Pun Puzzle with all these minions. But it's made in Italy and it's all in Italian on the back. Wow. So I don't know. I couldn't find a comp on it when I was at the store. So I went ahead and got it because it was like, what? It was some random amount of money, apparently. Where did the tag go? I just took this out of the car. I didn't take the tag off. Is that an FBA sticker on the back? Sharpie on the back? No. No, they don't. They put tags at Savers. I, I think it was $2.99. No, they covered up the UPC on this side because this UPC, which you can't scan, is not American. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think this is an. Oh, there's the thing. $2.99. Um, I think what they have is an American lid. And a an Italian back. And so they covered up the UPC that was on the American lid, which is all in English. And they put the Italian back on it. Weird. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. So I picked it up. You know me. I always pick up something crazy. I also wanted to tell you guys. Okay. I picked this up too. The hot lotion machine. Right? Okay. Still going for $30 or $40. This design. These are hot garbage and don't pick them up okay but no good to know <laughs> but these this design still sells and i can show you the comp so that way you know i'm not just making it up just for clout you know just to be like hey i'm gonna give you a bolo and then like no bolo <laughs> um it's a no low <laughs> so brand new this one's brand new um it hasn't been used before and you can always check when you open them up you'll know if it's been used because there's it's impossible which i know because i've destroyed one of these before to clean these out so you'll know if it's been used before because it'll have lotion in here uh, there's no yeah. way to clean out this machine i've dismantled one there's ball bearings inside and as soon as you open this up it goes <laughs> all over the place you can't get a picture <laughs> of it so you're welcome <laughs> Let me start. 
eight. I think Lucy forgot to turn off her sound and turned off her camera. Um, let me show you the comps on brand news. Do, do, do. If I still know how to share, because sharing is caring. Okay, so here's these this design. The forty-five dollars. 58 didn't sell, $35 plus shipping. It says the trending price is 45. So eBay is actually on target with that. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. This one went on best offer. This was on bids for 33, 42, 45, 45. So for fi my five bucks, I should be able to get like 45 with the shipping. 35 if I want to charge shipping. I don't understand nice. why anybody wants to That's heat up a, the uh, motion. Luxury. <laughs> it's supposed to be good for babies and it's supposed to be good for the babies. There's yeah. squirrels outside. I got it. I got you, Trish. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah, people want to heat up their lotion because actually it's almost like whenever you get out of the shower, you're supposed to put your lotion on right away. You know? Because Anyway, it's supposed to lock in moisture, or whatever. I don't know. It's supposed to. I was thinking maybe for like massage therapists or something like that. No, this is for personal house stuff. Oh. Yeah, but don't get these. These are junk. Throw those in the trash. Um, what else? Or like when you get a manicure, that'd be nice to have like some warm lotion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bought something else. I was going to show them, and then I lost it somewhere. So never mind. What do you got? This is muted. Um, I got a couple of things, and I think, dogs. I think yeah, everything is for. I'm good now. Are we good? Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, everything I brought today was for for eBay, but I know I'm I'm a Seahawks fan, so this is very hard not to like be upset with the amount of 49er junk in the house. But uh, <laughs> there's a liquidation center near me that I've been hitting up, and they're going out of business. And so everything's 70% off. So this was 70% off 30 bucks. Um, so I think I paid less than $10 a Jersey and I've been selling them for about $30, 30, $40 on eBay. Um, and then my husband asked, you know, why don't you sell that on Amazon? And it's like, you don't mess with the NFL. <laughs> you just, no, no. Not you, you do not mess with them. They have more money and power than a lot of other organizations and you're just like i'm gonna live under a rock now and work for starbucks as a barista because i can no longer sell anymore <laughs> exactly so i mean it's still it's good stuff but i picked up tons of them and i'm trying to do a video about it but i'm having i'm having uh technical difficulties with my video stuff so i have videos ready to go out but not put together you've been having issues ever since you got that x you got that iphone x and you've all i've heard you say is that you've had issues it, yeah, it's been one issue after another, but I can't get the I can't get the um, videos and photos from the phone to the computer. It keeps losing connection during the transfer. Like, are you trying to airdrop? No, just like plug it in, and it loses connection. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see a genius today at one thirty. So I. I'm, That's good. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, I got a backpack with my laptop and stuff, so I can scooter in the mall. That's so. Scooter funny. my butt over to the genius. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna. I have drugs for at night. It's gonna be a drug night. Because <laughs> I'm sure after seeing the genius and scootering in the mall, I'm going to want. I can't drink, so yeah, I can't drink and do drugs. The doctor said I can either do one or the other. Or that was an interesting conversation. He goes, either I can give you opiates or you could do marijuana. What do you want? I'm like, oh jeez. So my parents were like, well, you shouldn't be doing opiates, and I'm like, well, the other choice was marijuana. So I mean, well, I haven't uh, seen a huge like marijuana epidemic. Like, no, so. <laughs> no, and <laughs> what state are you in, Lucy? We're in Washington, but it's now legal in uh, what is it in Colorado, uh, Nevada, Oregon, California. pardon, California, California. So it's it's becoming quite the trend, mm -hmm. Oklahoma, by a prescription, yeah. So, anyhow, I also picked up <laughs> sidetrack the same time, uh, these guys, which were 70% off 1958. So they're just new in the box. One of the boxes is a little, a little beat up, but they're going on Amazon for $40, $50. And I got them for six. So I'll throw them over to eBay and sell them. Some of them were uh, expired. Some of them weren't, but I sell expired ink all the time over on eBay. It's a great place. And then um, 
I just have two other things I wanted to talk about. This guy is a Wedgwood Vera Wang set, and I got five a five piece set and I got four of them. They are going on Amazon for $110 right now. They're trending about 99 per set over on eBay and I got them for $10 a set. And they're just, they're really pretty, um, what do you call it? Yeah, like silver, cool. silver edging there. That's beautiful. Are they so, selling that I as a found set any or plates each? like that? No, I know April has, April's found some. Uh, remember that, Deb? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking? <laughs> you guys are both talking. But I, I will sell them as a five-piece set, and then I think I'll put a quantity listing, and then I've been doing that. If you buy more than one, you get a discount. I was kind of debating, you know, put up all four sets, but then it'd be a $400 item, um, or just doing it by piece and yeah, putting it as a quantity. Yeah, package those, though. Like, that's I'll double box. I'm scared about selling. Uh, when I see people, I don't sell them. But when I see other people when they have sets of dishes... And they're just like, oh, I bubble wrapped it and put it in the box. And then I bubble wrapped this one and put it in the box. And I'm like, mm, that's not going to get there because nope. the weight of those plates shift. No matter how secure you think you got it in there, at some point in time with all the jiggling, it's going to settle itself in there and something's going to shift. And one thing out of 20 is going to break. And then you've just messed up your whole thing. Yeah. Well, I will be going to hit up the dollar store for some noodles. And then I have... Uh, <laughs> My Walmart was having uh, clearance on bubble wrap, so I picked up a couple extra rolls of bubble wrap. So, I'm good to go so there. just to flick, just to clarify, you're gonna buy some top ramen and stuff it in there. Top ramen, <laughs> some noodles. <laughs> I've never packaged with top ramen. Is that a thing? Noodles with noodles. <laughs> you said noodles. Oh no, pool noodles. Pool oh. Noodles. <laughs> Yeah, I, I actually put up a, a post yesterday with how I was packaging. I have one sitting right here because I had a stack of them sitting over here from when I packaged yesterday. But I packaged one of these plates. That's a cool plate. I know. I wanted to keep them so bad. But if you can, sell them, if you can sell them for $50 a piece, this is just going to get destroyed in my kitchen. No kidding. You know, it's not worth it. But they're stacking plates. Like, they just stack flat on each other. And they're so cool. And whoever had them before, like, did so awesome because they're brand new. They got all their stickers. And then they put these little stacking pads on them so they wouldn't scratch the other That's plates. That's awesome. Yeah. I got them at that church sale. Um, I think I may have paid $5 for them. It may have church sales are bomb. But yeah, I sold one over the weekend for 50 bucks. So I put it on my Instagram, how I packaged it with the pool noodle and you split it and you wrap it around. And then I put a piece of foam in the middle on both sides and then I bubble wrap it. and put. So it's kind of suspended all on its own. Like it's just suspended, you know, in the box. Yeah. And, and something like that, like I, I probably will ship out FedEx. Just, I don't know about you, but when, when I get to a certain size package, you save more money. It would be like $30 yeah. shipping on the post and it's 20 at FedEx. So you do save a little bit of money. Um, the one I prefer if I have something more expensive going through the post office and it's more fragile. Um, even if I can save money on shipping, I like to go through the post office just because I find their, um, their insurance to be so much easier to file a claim on than FedEx. That's true. That's like, true. They want to pick up, they want to go pick up the old box. They want to see if it was damaged. Like they'll go to your customer's house and want the item in the box back. Yep. And the post office has never, ever done that. So if I have something fragile and ex or expensive, I'll tend to um, just insure it through ShipSaver or ShipSurance and, um, and just go through that route because hmm. FedEx can be kind of particular about their returns with their claims. I've had the opposite. I've had the post office want to go to the house and, and pick up the box. <laughs> and they, sure, right. they, sorry. <laughs> they did. I mean, they want to see the box and how you packed it. Yeah, normally what I do is when the customer file and they say, oh, this is damage. I, I say, oh, no problem. It was insured. Can you send me the pictures? When they send me the pictures, I refund their payment. And then when I refund their payment, I print out that order summary from eBay and it'll say refunded on such and such date and then it's zeroed out. Mm -hmm. And then that, and then I include that with the pictures to the post office. I've never had a problem with a claim because it shows I refunded it and it was on an official platform. It wasn't like I just sold it on Facebook or whatever. And you know, and it shows it was damaged. 
Huh. Okay, question about that. So when you get refunded, they don't refund your shipping too, right? Yeah. Even though you, they they do refund your shipping. I file a claim for the whole thing. I file okay. a claim for my item and my shipping. I have never asked for my shipping back. I always just say whatever that the price was, and then I thought, well, wait a minute, that's kind of dumb because I don't have that unless either. Shipping, unless it was yeah. free shipping. But I always charge for shipping. So okay. uh, on that on that little order summary, it shows the totals and then it shows I had to refund all that money back. So good to know. Yeah. All right. So let's all do right. our songs. Or do you have something else to show, Lucy? Well, I just want to I brought this one because it's in my topic right now. Um geez, let's get the glare off. What it is is a metal die cast. Disney characters, and we've got uh, what's this lady? The Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts in there. So, anyhow, I've been doing brick seek for my Amazon finds, and this was a clearance item at Walmart down for a dollar. They were selling for about $12.99. Everything was fine. The picture ma matched up. The um, UPC matched up. Everything was matched up. And then all of a sudden, I got a whole bunch of uh, returns. I only had like four of them, but all four got returned. I've got uh, a nasty gram from Amazon saying we're taking down the listing due to um, if you have too many returns, it's a percentage. If you get, I think it's more than half of your stuff returned, um, they will take down the listing until you figure out what is wrong. And so I looked and sure enough, somebody else who was on the listing changed the picture, but the description still had the other item. So I was able to get that all squared away and fixed up with Amazon. But that is something that does happen that I just happened this week. And now I either got to sell it on Amazon or sell it on eBay. Yeah, that's the thing about selling on Amazon. You always got to be really careful and read that description. Well, yeah, but people will change it too. I mean, yeah. I didn't know they could do that. Unless they're, it, unless they're their original creator, right? Um, no. no, you can. You can do it. You can... Uh, send in you to have it fixed or whatnot. And so sometimes you get a listing that may be mm, iffy on two different products or something, or like they probably share a UPC code and then somebody will say, no, it's this one. And then you know, somebody else will say, no, it's that one. And uh, if you get stuck on the wrong side of the corn coin, your customers are going to get upset. Yeah. I'm here. Adam in the Adam exploits in the chat and he was saying that apparently he had something about UPS trying to work out a deal with eBay. Um, and I'm trying to figure out if that's uh, he said for ground. So that's interesting because the, problem is the UPS and FedEx don't have ground supplies. So they have ground supplies now. Because I know they always only have express supplies like that you can get for free. They've never offered ground supplies for free. Have any of y'all heard of that? Lucy, I know you, have you heard of I, ground supplies? I get the labels, but I can look at my UPS account really I mean, quick. I get labels too, but all the boxes and everything and all the packaging, that's all express stuff. It's not like ground. Unless I'm totally wrong. I was more interested in the, the he gets the, not pool noodles, but the insulation noodles. You're saying yeah. it's, it's cheaper. Is that, um, is it cheaper than pool noodles? What do you guys think? I don't know pool noodles are a dollar. Yeah, you can't beat a buck. And I, I'm not anywhere near a Lowe's or Home Depot. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much they charge for insulation at Home Depot. I could look it up. I might have to. Because I go <laughs> right past the uh, Home Depot to get to the dollar store. So it doesn't matter. Well, I want to show a couple of things that I sold. And then because um, I only have a couple. And then that way we can move on to somebody else. Basta. Basta, Demi. Basta. All I wanted to talk about was these coupons. And I know I keep talking about coupons on my Instagram. Um, mm -hmm. I got this out of the American Girl catalog that I've been throwing away for the last year. Well, recycling. I put it in recycling. <laughs> um, for the last year, I had no idea they had coupons inside. So this <laughs> time, I was actually flipping through it, and they had a coupon. And so I sold it for $16.95. I, didn't I get that magazine. I, I didn't have to ship it because all she wanted was the online code. She's a, apparently, I looked at her feed, like her store. She's an American Girl reseller on eBay. And so I had this price low. Their, their typical price is $19.95, but I didn't list it until last week. And so it expired today. So I listed it lower price just so the person who bought it had a chance to use it. Um, 
And then on another coupon that I sell every month that I get in the mail that I was throwing away are these Office Depot coupons. I've been slowly upping the price on these coupons for the last couple of months. I started oh out gosh. at I started out at seven ninety five. I moved up to twelve ninety five. I went up to fourteen ninety five. I got up to nineteen, and I've pushed it all the way up to twenty four ninety five. And they sell within one day. So I'm, I'm up to I'm start selling coupons. <laughs> I'm up to twenty four ninety five now on the price of that one. I think that's where I'm going to stay. So um, did that person want it shipped, or they just wanted codes? No, they just wanted the codes. Wow. And you can say, I put it in my condition. I said, select local pickup if you just want the online unique coupon code. And then that way it doesn't say I need to ship it. Like I can just say the order's complete. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Um, got my hand up, Tanya. <laughs> um, um, American Girl, is that a paid subscription? And also, no. do you get the, um, the Office Depot coupon? Is it Office Depot? Mm -hmm. um do you get those coupons because when you sign up for their like little store rewards program okay then they have your address and so they'll mail you okay and the american girl is just a free subscription yeah it's their little like seasonal mini catalog it's really small it's only like 10 12 pages i think it's not yeah. very big um awesome. and they send it like every couple months i think it's quarterly is it yeah i think i thought it was seasonal yeah so and we got that because we also had signed up when we bought my daughter's american girl doll for their little american girl if you just go to the different companies websites and sign up for their for, you know rewards programs yeah even if you don't buy anything there they still send you the coupons and some of the best ones are going to be the ones that are like percentages off your whole purchase you know um, like that American girl one was 20% off your whole purchase, you know, of over $50. Um, some of the, those are the best ones, like the 30% off of office Depot. That is great for people that own small businesses and yeah. own, it's totally worth it to them to pay $25 to save 30%. Right. You know, so, but yeah, now you can, there, the stipulations are is that you can only sell up to the value of, of a hundred dollars i don't know how ebay's tracking that because i know they're not and you can only sell a total of a hundred coupons i knew there was some kind of stipulation 25 coupons, 25, 25 coupons. it yeah. used to be like coupon like nirvana back a couple years ago and then <laughs> they what, put like restrictions on it in what time frame a hundred coupons yeah, that's in, what I was wondering. a month a month oh a month okay yeah i think it's 20 it's actually 25 coupons it's 25 coupons or a hundred dollars in value but okay. they don't track that because I know they can't. Like, they just can't. They're just not. So, but Come I'm not saying. Police. Yeah. Woo -woo. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You have entirely too many coupons listed. <laughs> <laughs> I, only, I only, only sell one or two a month, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> and um, cigarette coupons, even if you don't smoke, um, you can sign up for all the different cigarette companies. Those coupons sell for almost face value. So if it's a four dollar coupon, it's gonna sell for three fifty. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know who's buying them or why they're selling for face value or close to face value. But the cigarette coupons typically do. do some places coupons. still uh, do double coupons or have double coupon days. They do. I don't have them. not on cigarettes. Well, I mean that would be my thought. Yeah. Yeah. That that makes sense. That's a good idea. I never thought about that. But they I, they, I know they don't double coupons on cigarettes. What about on base? I'd have to ask my friend. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, um, and then the only other thing I wanted that I had to, I don't have anything else to show. I had a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna talk about those things. Trisha's stuff's more interesting than mine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go next? <laughs> Tanya should go, she's gotta leave at one. Oh, yeah, Tanya, you got to leave at one, right? Yeah, yeah Tanya should go. I, I don't really have anything Trish to show. Trish has got to leave at one, too. Trish, you go ahead. I'll go after Trish. Okay, okay. all right, Trish, you ready? I got your, hang on, let me share. All right, I have a plate up here. Oh. Okay, so I, I can't remember if I talked about these before or not, but I 
So Pier 1, they have plates that become highly sought after and highly collectible. And I didn't even know I had this plate because I sold a bunch and I didn't realize I had one left over. And then I was going through my death piles and I found this one salad plate. And, I, and when I was looking, the comps were all like $14, $14, $14. But people were doing buy it now. And so I went ahead and put it on auction starting at $14 to see if it would go higher. And that's what happened. And that's one single salad plate. So look for those patterns. I noticed they have bunnies this year on their commercials. So they're not as, as intricate as these, but I'm sure they're gonna be collectible. Very nice. And next up, Transformers. Okay, so these, and I talked about these on my Instagram too, so sorry for the redundancy, but, um, these, I went to an estate sale, they had all these little toys from the 80s, and they had a ton of Transformers, but I know nothing about Transformers, but they had this one baggie with all these little accessories, and it was $6 for the baggie, so I thought, that's what people lose. If I sell a Transformer, it's going to get returned because it's going to be like not as described or not whole or whatever, so I got um, the accessories, and I just put them on auction. And right now, I'm terrified. I'm scared they're going to be cherry-picked and returned. But I just about fell off my chair when I saw how much they ended up going for. That's insane. Yeah, I don't know what's in there that they saw. But I know a lot of people saw it because there were so many watchers and there were 13 bids. I would be so worried, yeah, like you said, about them cherry picking it and being like, all the pieces weren't in the box. So here's what I did. I, I took, I pre I did like shrink wrap on all of the pieces and I, I shrink wrapped. I didn't shrink it, but I put it in shrink wrap sealed. And then I took pictures of each package. Like I put like items together and then I put, um, I took pictures of them all and I put a letter in there that said something, something, something. I hope you enjoy these. I have taken pictures of everything in the package, of all the packages. So if you're looking for something in particular, let me know and I'll, I'll look at my photographs to see which package it's in. That way they know I have photos. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, yeah. All right, and then these shoes. So I went to an estate sale and there was a closet full of these gentle soles, which I've never heard of. Um, mm -hmm. The shoes were $8 a piece. This particular pair was $10. Um, and I bought nine pair of this particular brand and four of them sold overnight to one person. Wow. And then another pair sold um, to someone else. And then the person who bought four pair just came back and bought another pair today. So I have three pair left. And I just went to this estate sale last week and they're almost all gone. That's a, I, I've never heard of that brand, but I will keep an eye out from now on. You know, normally I think shoes that have an interesting sole on them tend yeah. to be of a higher quality thing. Yeah, I agree. These are by Kenneth Cole and they're size nine and I wear a size eight, but I was trying them on and they are so comfortable so now i have a search for myself for certain styles on this because they are they are so comfortable yeah i i think the reason why something you know you can kind of pay attention to the soles is just because it costs them extra to do those molds for those soles oh, you know what i mean than to, yeah. just be, than to just be like wow. uh most shoes like tend to have like the same soles like yeah for, you know they're all coming from the same factory they just put a different label on them right um all right, and then you want to talk about this guy? Well, that guy I also got from that estate sale. Um, I just bought a, I just grabbed whatever I could grab and hold because my, my arms were full. They had a whole room full. And so then I just started doing research and I sold a couple of these guys. So he basically paid me back this one. And that's the same estate sale that I got um, the Transformer stuff. But go back to that other one. Oh, the one I closed? Hang on. Yeah. This one? Yeah. I mean, this one isn't that big of a deal, but I just wanted to talk about how I researched them. Um, I found these at Goodwill, and there were two boxes of them, and it was senior day, so I got my senior discount. They had 
five, no, yeah, five dollars each on them. So I got both boxes for seven dollars and fifty cents. And I had no idea what they were. So I managed to look in because they were in plastic containers, but I managed to see the inside of one block. And I think it said 1970 or 1989 or something like that. And I could see that there was a catapult. So I put 1989 catapult and all of these listings popped up. And so then I was able to know whether or not it was a good deal. Um, yeah. So if you can see one date and just do one little description, you can usually find out what you've got there. All right, Tony, you want to go now? Sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, you're good. He's good. <laughs> you might not come with some eight hundred dollar book. No, it not at all. Four. It was only four. <laughs> I've really not been having that many really big sales. These most of these sales happen back um, in early March. That's I have fine. three. We haven't, been on, we haven't been on for two months, so you can show whatever you want. Okay. So how do you say this word? You say alegria. Alegria. Yes. And yeah. I love them. Yeah, I'm so wearing I'm right now. Huh? I'm oh, wearing, wearing them right now. Yeah. So I picked these up for $7.99 um, and they sold for $49.99. I was super excited about this sale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they sell great. Yeah, they do. Um, and then I wanted to show you all some jewelry. So this is a vintage Anne Klein uh, hot couture gold tone ring necklace. And it's sold for forty-five dollars. Really interesting, That's very nice long necklace. And this was a neat little find. Like I said, we haven't been on in a long time, so I thought I'd share. This little pin is like one inch tall, and it came out of a jewelry jar, and so it was like maybe what, maybe five cents, and it sold for fifty dollars. Oh, you yeah. guys, Blue That's Dog is nuts. very popular. Blue Dog is. Huge. And then here's the back of it. I've never heard of that before. I've never it's heard of it. It's an Rodrigue. artist and Rod, I guess Rodrigue. Oh, so I it's she George came. Rodrigue, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay, I want to hold on a second, Tanya, because I want to hear what Trish was about to say about Blue Dog. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even looking. Um, One second. Blue Dog was on fire in like the nineties, and he's like he kind of reminds me of who was that artist who did all of the, like the colorful, oh, he did like these, like he would do a portrait of this, the same face in four different places, but it would have like bright blue and bright yellow and bright red. Um, okay. When I figure it out, I'll scream it out. But um, Blue Dog is super, super popular. And I think he originated in Texas. That's cool. She was saying that Blue Dog was super, super popular in the 1990s, and she thinks he originated in Texas. That's a summary. Oh, okay. Cool, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never heard of it before, so I didn't know. Blue Dog Rodrigue. Re yeah, Rodrigue. Andy Warhol. Oh, wow. Holy wow. <laughs> but that's, but it, it's Andy Warhol-esque. His art is worth a gookalab of money. Yeah, Blue Dog will be someday. You couldn't miss this at the, if you couldn't miss this, like if you saw it at the store, like these blue dogs, like how do you miss these blue dogs? Yeah. Yeah, aren't they cute? Like, original prints are like, this is a silk screen. Yeah. Artist proof. Look I at even this have one. A book too. This one's signed. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, my sister-in-law has an original blue dog. I was just going to say, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I think they have a children's book also. Blue dog. <laughs> blue, blue dog children's book? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Thanks, Tanya. I never heard of that. Yeah. What are you, Miss Lucy? What you got going on? Oh, I pulled up some things while we were chit-chatting here. I got to do hit the screen share. Screen one. Let's see here. Tell me if that's up. Yes, it's up. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I pulled up just three eBay and four or four eBay, three Amazon. So this little guy I found on the clearance section of my local Bartels for nine dollars, and they were going for high twenties. So that was nice. I got about 
20 of them or something. I felt so bad. Huh? Sorry, I thought you were. Oh, I felt so bad because they thought I was going to go like donate it to the NICU or something. <laughs> no, I'm just going to sell it. Sorry. Have you listened uh, to the um, Aiden and Nista on the, how, how I built this? Mm -mm. The interview they did with the maker of that brand? No, is it? It's should I Google really it? Cool, it's a really cool podcast. It's a really cool story. But yeah, on how I built this podcast, which I love, um, that's one of the first interviews they did. It's, it's a really cool story. I love their products. Uh, I think you do have to get un ungated. So if you are uh, in the toy section and you're working on ungated, I really suggest keep trying for Melissa and Doug and Aiden, Aiden, those types. They I come across Aiden and Aiden clearance stuff all the time in many different locations. Uh, these are Build-A-Bear slippers. I scored a whole bunch of slippers at the Walmart clearance for three to five dollars. And they were going again in the 20, 25 dollar range. So you do need to right. poly bag and package things up, but that's okay. Poly bags are cheap. I sold this book for high 30s. I want to say $34.99. Um, a modern pioneer in Korea. I have no mm -hmm. idea. Sounded interesting. Right. From but 1923. I... So he's not actually modern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So, it so what? The, a... <laughs> the modern pioneer from a century ago. <laughs> what had happened and, and where my, my videos that I'm trying to do is I bought a huge book lot from a liquidation center of used books or new that I'm selling as like new, whatever, uh, for... Gosh, I paid $170 for 422 books. Nice. And then I got most of them in there. I still have about 200 I list on Amazon, about 200 I listed on or are going to be in my garage sale pile, and then about 50 or so on eBay. So um, been making a little bit of money off of that. So I'm excited about that. And then I documented it all, and that's what I'm trying to get off my phone. This is one of those books, Seeking Safety, a Treatment for PTSD. Uh, it was in like new condition from that lot. And if I averaged it out, I paid about a dollar a book. And this one sold for 30. This one sold for 40 right on eBay right away. So I've already made $70 worth of sales on my $170 buy. Oh. So yeah, I was really excited. This one sold in, gosh, 30, 20 minutes, maybe. It was before I cooked dinner. I had listed it. And then before I cooked dinner, I was wrapping it up to go. So that was crazy. That's exciting. <laughs> this one was interesting. I had originally bought a uh, remote's are really good over at Amazon, but I got flagged. I guess I can't sell Panasonic, so I recalled it and put it up on eBay. It sold for sixteen ninety nine. I think it was a Goodwill buy for two ninety nine, maybe three ninety nine, and they were pretty happy with that. And then this little guy sold, and he's going to Australia. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, he was so cute. He had the little tags. I got him for a dollar at Goodwill. So a plush, Goodwill yeah. plush. It's so um, tiny, four inches. I've seen that small before too, and it blows my mind. And I it was eighteen dollars in shipping to go to South Australia. So I mean they paid, you know, well over thirty-five dollars for this little guy. Well, sometimes you just can't get anywhere else. You can't get them in you know except unless you're ordering something direct from japan or you're you have like my daughter you're still you're still honest i killed it it should have, it should be good there. no you're still no you're still sharing you are screen sharing oh. how do i did i do it now yep you got it okay sorry yeah so my daughter has a subscription box she gets from japan and so all the little animals that come in there and stuff they're like you know like Japan exclusives or whatever. Oh. So. Neat. Um, a question. Tanya, are you still doing your five a day listing video? <laughs> um, I answered her. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing it. Just not every single day. <laughs> oh, I didn't scroll down. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. And then have you noticed eBay limiting shipping options? I don't see padded flat radio. No, I, I haven't seen that um, at all. Do you have any of y'all seen them? No, I've, I've shipped padded this week. Yeah, I think I did too. I think yesterday I didn't have one, but 
Okay. <laughs> um, so I, I had something, this wasn't about padded, sh uh, padded shipping, but I had something, okay, you, you know how eBay has their, their new shipping page and then they have the old shipping page. Right. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Yes. Talk about that, please. Yeah. So now I can't remember the numbers at this it was point. 30, it was $30 to $20, I think I remember. I, it was even less than that. I mean, it was ridiculous. So I had an item that when it popped up in the new shipping page, it was, I'm so sorry about my dogs. Um, something's going on out there. Um, anyway, when I went to ship it, it was like $40 or something like that. And I just couldn't figure it out. And then, um, so I, I was kind of looking at everything and I saw the little thing where you could click back to the original shipping. And when I went onto the original shipping page, it was like $19. And same item, same um, uh, dimensions, same weight, everything. And so I called eBay because I was like, okay, this is happening here and this is happening here. And I don't want this thing to be kicked back because it was a blender that was going to Canada. Um, well, it was going to the northern border. So it was going to still be in the United States. <laughs> I see Tom cracking me up. Um, and I said, I don't want this to come back on me and I don't want the buyer to not get it. And they were like, if that's the price it says, then that's the price it is. And so just do it. So I, I shipped it. So now when I have something that's heavy, I'll go through both of the shipping pages to see if they're going to be the same price. And if it's not, I'm going to take the lesser price and ship it there. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I I went back and checked a couple ones that I thought were kind of high, but they were all the same. But I did, I think I found the what why they're not seeing all their options so here's the shipping page and if you notice down here it only shows you a couple things like you have to press the compare all and it's down here priority mail padded flat rate envelope have you noticed mine has been defaulting to the little flat rate the meat not the media the little the littlest flat rate that you would ship like a vhs tape in Mine oh, has yeah, been yeah. defaulting to that a lot lately. I wonder if, I don't know, I'm not really sure. I don't use this that often because I use ShipStation. Mm. Um, I have been using it this last week, like in the last like seven days, uh, just because uh, I didn't see the point. I was only shipping out a couple of things and I didn't see the point of like using another service. Yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all questions. Oh, I have not. Uh, I have not played with that yet. Yeah, I, I hadn't seen it when everybody was looking at it. Then uh, Jim is asking your thoughts on Good Till canceled only for buy it now. I don't have an issue with it because I always do Good Till canceled, so I have no problems with Good Till canceled. I don't. I don't have any issue with it. Pretty. If much. everybody's doing Good Till cancel, then it's we're just you know, what do you call it? Canceling each other out anyway. I just, I just hope that your listing doesn't, you know, fall to the bottom. The only point that I ever did the 30 days is so that I could go in and sell one like this and just kind of refresh it. So it bring that, bring that item back up to the top. But now if everybody's not able to do that, then right. it yeah, should be okay. I, I know, like some of my friends, um, they don't like it at all, but I haven't had an issue with it. And cause I've, I've kind of always done it. So it doesn't really bother me. I kind of feel like they they did that so now that they're really pushing the promotions like yeah. you have to do it good till canceled and if you want your listing to be seen you need to pay us more which I don't really like that mentality. Yeah, I don't either. Those fees, the fees are just they're just so crazy lately. Um, I know two of our ladies got to run out like right now, right? <laughs> so, um I think that's all the questions that we had in the chat. So I think we're going to go ahead and close out today. Thank you everyone for coming and joining us. And hopefully we will be back sooner than May. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys all later. <laughs>